Here's how to set up an email trigger in Qualtrics that sends your recipient a link to retake their survey. If someone's completed your survey, you'll find a retake response option next to the response in the data and analysis tab. This link is not random. It's a combination of the anonymous survey link shown here in green and the respondent's response ID shown here in blue. This is great because we can recreate it easily. What I recommend doing is taking your survey once and copying this retake response link. So again, I found it by going to data and analysis, find the drop-down menu next to your response and click on retake response, then copy that link. To include this in an email, what I'm going to do is set up an email trigger for my survey. So each time somebody fills out my survey, they'll receive an email with a link to retake it. To set up an email trigger, I'll go to Tools, Triggers, Email Trigger. The first thing I want to do when I get to this email trigger screen is just paste that link that I copied from the retake option. I'll be customizing that in a minute. Next. I notice that the to email address defaults to my own address. I can replace that with my respondent's address as long as I'm collecting it somewhere. So for example, if I'm distributing my survey to a contact list, I can get that through the contact list. If I'm not doing that, maybe I'm asking the respondent for their email address in the survey. And in that case, I could get it from the survey question. Either way, I'll have to use pipe text to get it. And unfortunately, I can't put the pipe text directly in the to field. So what I'm going to do is create that pipe text in the body of the email and then cut and paste it. So I'll click the pipe text icon. And in my case, I'm using a contact list. So I'll choose panels field and then recipient in email. And then I can cut and paste that value over my email address. If I was asking the respondent for their email address in a question, I could pipe text from a survey question instead. So now let's get to that link. So let's say in my email, I might say, you can retake your survey at the following address. As I showed before in that color coded image, the only part I need to replace is what's between the Q underscore R equal sign and the following ampersand. I want to replace this with a response ID of the person who just completed the survey. And I can also get that through pipe text. So I'm going to delete whatever's there and then pipe the response ID. Let's test this out. I just distributed the survey to myself by email and I'm going to choose some options and submit it. My email trigger will then send me a link to retake the survey. When I click that link, I'll then see the same survey with my options already filled out. I can change my options and resubmit the survey. When I go into Qualtrics, I'll notice that that response is only shown once, it's not two separate responses, and that my latest survey options are reflected.